Hey there, Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware here with the Alienware Area 51 Ryzen Threadripper Edition Beastly Gaming Desktop PC. What do you say we go kick the tires a little bit? So this version of the Alienware Area 51 is based upon the same triad chassis design that Alienware developed for the first iteration. And as you can see, the front edge here slopes down, the rear edge slopes down as well, allowing cool air to be pulled in from the front and exhausted out the back in an upwards fashion. You've got a slot loading DVD player, audio inputs and outputs, USB 3, SD card reader, and of course, Alienware lighting bling across all the edges, the Alienware logo head and various points on the side panels as well. And of course, in typical Alienware fashion with Alien Effects software, which is bundled with a machine, you can control the lighting color scheme across nine different zones, either individually or in unison, as we're doing here, as you can see with the click of a button, we've now got a nice blue hue. We can switch over to green, maybe dial in a little bit of yellow, whatever works for you. That is Alien Effects software. And of course, that side panel with just the press of a lever up top here. Side panel pops off and you are looking at the inside of the Alienware Area 51 Threadripper Edition. Let's go in tight. So here it is in the flesh, Alienware Area 51 Threadripper Edition, custom chassis, custom X399 motherboard. And starting from the bottom here, as you can see, 1500 watt modular power supply, copious by 16 slots here, Nvidia GeForce GTX, 1080 Ti in the first graphics slot. You can see we've got an M2 PCI Express NVMe SSD plugged right into an M2 slot there. And panning up, we have a custom Alienware self-contained liquid cooler and taking you in a little bit closer here to the large CPU socket area for Ryzen Threadripper. As you can see, very large custom self-contained liquid cooler here by Alienware. Alien head logo, interesting socket configuration. As you can see, the spread here between the mounting posts for the socket for the cooler, a little bit wider on the bottom here than it is on the top, a little bit narrower. So interesting socket configuration. We're not gonna disassemble that now because we still have some testing to do and we don't wanna upset the apple cart. Um, but that is the very large Ryzen Threadripper CPU socket. Also, as you can see, quad channel memory set up. We have a 16 gig configuration. And up top here, you can see the radiator, which isn't that large actually. Uh, but a, uh, a custom self-contained liquid cooler radiator and the fan here exhausts out the back. The other thing that we'll underscore is that this is absolutely a pre-production Area 51 Threadripper Edition system. So configuration and setup could change, but this is one of the features that I really like about the system as well. Anywhere has these custom retention brackets for their graphics cards. You can see there's a a metal plate, a custom metal plate mounted to the back of the graphics card and it slides into this cage and these plastic retainer clips actually keep the cards in place. You just slide it down into the slot and it clicks in, holding the card really firmly in place. And there's three of these different clips ready to go. We could set up triple 1080 Ti's if we wanted to in this config. And that would be our quick little guided tour of the Dell Alienware Area 51 Threadripper Edition. What do you say we button this bad boy up and run a benchmark? Sound like a plan? So let's turn to Cinebench R15, that trusty raw CPU throughput benchmark that we know and love so well at Hot Hardware. Here you can see the Ryzen Threadripper 1950X with 16 cores and 32 threads, absolutely shredding this benchmark. As you can see, 2,879 Cinebench points on that run. We've seen it break 2,900 actually, about 2,905 or so was the top score we've seen. That represents about a 30% performance advantage versus Intel's Core i9-7900X Skylake X 10 core chip in this specific benchmark. So about a 30% advantage, Intel's Core i9-7900X scoring about 2180, 2190 in that test. 2909 here for Ryzen Threadripper 1950X, the 16 core chip. Let's hit it one more time just for fun. But uh, Alienware's Area 51 Threadripper Edition Ryzen 
thread ripper, 16 core, 32 threads, absolutely shredding it at 3.5 gigahertz is the boost clock we're seeing right now. And again, about a 30% performance advantage versus Intel's Core i9-7800X Skylake X 10-core chip. So great stuff. Make sure you stop by hothardware.com for our full review of the Alienware Area 51 Threadripper Edition and more benchmark details on AMD's Ryzen Threadripper series of processors in the days ahead. I'm Dave Altavilla for hothardware.com. Thanks for stopping by.